Many jurisdictions around the world are imposing limits on the number of people who can come together at one time. That's to help prevent super spreader events. These are incidents where multiple cases of COVID-19 are traced back to an infected person in a crowded environment where physical distancing is limited. This happens at gatherings like weddings, funerals and parties or in venues like nightclubs and places of worship. That one person infects the people they come into contact with and then those infected people spread it to others. It has become clear that so-called super spreader incidents have played a huge role in the transmission of the virus. Mike Jolet shows us how a single event can have widespread and deadly consequences. The owners of the Big Moose Inn admit they messed up the head count. What began as a wedding reception of 65 quickly bloomed to 100, double Maine's indoor gathering limit of 50 people. From that one event where masks and distancing were ignored, Maine is now dealing with 176 new cases. COVID-19 right now is not on the other side of the fence. It is in our yards. What happened in Maine is what keeps health officials up at night, super spreader events that are hard to track. The epicenter of the Maine super spread is Millinocket, a tiny community untouched by COVID-19. Someone brought the virus to the wedding, and within days, it's spread to a jail, a nursing home, and a church where the wedding officiant is a pastor and noted anti-masker who has now blocked his social media. Seven people attached to that singular event have died so far, yet none attended the wedding. The virus favors gatherings. It does not distinguish between happy events, like a wedding celebration, or sad farewells, like funerals. Anywhere with a large number of people in little space is considered high risk. In Saskatoon, health officials say a party with 47 guests turned into 21 COVID cases. And the London, Ontario Health Unit released this contact tracing chart, which show how parties and meetups between three houses of Western University students led to 28 cases. We know what we have to do, and I think it's it's each of our roles to to not only be responsible for our own behavior, but to be a positive influence on others as well. Um, there there are some people who may think it's not going to happen to me, um, and. Uh, and, and that's the kind of attitude that leads to these to these events. Super spread events are preventable, and when they do happen, they are difficult to contain. Maine is seeing it firsthand. Once they take root, it takes days, if not weeks, to contain. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto. New data shows COVID-19 infections among Canadian healthcare workers was nearly double the global tally in July. According to the World Health Organization, healthcare workers made up 10% of world COVID-19 infections in that month. In Canada, nearly 20% of healthcare workers, just over 21,000, tested positive as of July 23rd. The hardest hit provinces were Quebec and Ontario, where 12 healthcare workers died from COVID-19.